Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 1st March 2020. I am Sagan Nandi. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I retired from work several years ago and nowadays I am living in Thailand. I swing trade stocks using Q trading systems and techniques. You may watch this and other videos on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably and contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on the Twitter page twitter.com sagarnandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer first. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics using the live system, I will analyze oil and gold. They tend to impact related stocks. And then I will demonstrate the use of the 360 degrees analysis, a technique where you align the forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level as well as technical level with your trades, thereby giving you truly high probability and low risk trades. That was the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis using oil ETF USO. I am looking at it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk entry opportunity in only a few seconds. One week ago in the market roundup, when price was near this area, I suggested not taking any trade. There was no queue swing trade setup at that time. Where did I suggest the last trade in USO? That was around this location. And I suggested taking a long trade based on the fact that price had dropped a lot and it was at the watermark support level. That trade ended with a profit. Prior to that, I had suggested taking a short trade around this price level based on the fact that price was at this watermark resistance at that time. That trade also ended with a large profit. Last week I suggested waiting for a proper setup. That was a good idea that you didn't take a long trade. Price fell sharply. It breached the memory trend line support. And on Friday ended with a bullish shape candle though the traffic light candle color is red. The last few days price dropped with heavy activity. There is no trade setup in US oil right now. If price can recover and close above the daily memory support line, at which point it will also close above the weekly memory support line, creating a false downside breakout in both weekly and daily. At that time, you may look for a low risk buying opportunity. What is the other alternative? 
the other alternative is that you wait for price to go up probably hit this daily memory resistance line and reverse down again giving a magenta color candle that will signal the next go with flow trend following short trade setup right now there is no swing trade setup in USO gold ETF GLD this week created a sharp reversal candle the backdrop candle color flipped from cyan one week ago to magenta this week the weekly displayed extreme bearish pressure and price fell with heavy volume you can see that it created a reversal candle in the weekly chart from the band indicator while price was at pendulum or extreme high level in the daily chart price was already above upper boundary one week ago looking at that I suggested avoiding any long trade that was useful because price dropped sharply on Friday price closed just above the daily memory support line if price can go up from here you may look for a low risk long entry using the fine tune 5 minute or 10 minute chart template using daily template you will probably not get a swing trade entry early next week however using the fine tune real time chart 5 minute or 10 minute interval you may look for a bounce kind of trade relying on a bounce from this daily memory support line the actual entry will be probably taken using the fine tune chart you may keep an eye for that next I continue with the market level analysis this is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that I carry out the aim is to decide if the market is looking bullish or bearish if it is looking bullish I may look for primarily long trades using stocks if it is bearish I may focus on short trades using stocks I am starting with the S&P 500 ETF SPY using the Q systems sometimes I can anticipate a market move probably little bit ahead of others an example of that was SPY the weekly chart started displaying this bearish headwind possible reversal signal early in that week that week started on Tuesday on this day and the bearish headwind started appearing in the morning session itself looking at that I had tweeted at that time that it may be a time to protect long positions and buy insurance or buy put options to not only protect your positions probably try to make some profit if the market fell that was very useful I could catch almost the very top from there price dropped sharply now everybody is bearish however I say that price has hit the daily memory trend line support and also the weekly memory trend line support my short positions were initiated near the very top I booked profit on all my short positions on this Friday and in fact I bought some stocks as well whether I am buying stocks primarily or shorting stocks more you may be able to find that out from the forum posts that I make if my posts are more on the bullish side you know that I am bullish on the market if my posts are more on the bearish side short side you know that for swing trading I am more bearish looking at the bounce that happened on Friday at the memory support level 
in both daily and weekly. I stopped being bearish. If the market goes up from here, then you may have a lot of buying opportunities, pretty lucrative buying opportunities in fundamentally strong stocks. You may keep an eye for that. Dow Jones Industrials Average ETF DIA the Berry Shedwin appeared in the DIA weekly chart also at the same time that it appeared in SPY. When the headwind signal appears in multiple related instruments at the same time, you may take it even more seriously. I shared this headwind signal also in a tweet that was very useful price dropped heavily from there on Friday price stopped right at the watermark support level in the weekly as well as in the daily chart volume was extremely high price recovered quite a bit from this pivot support level that also reinforced my decision to close all the short positions with a profit and then buy some stocks. You may watch for a bounce up from this price level next week. NASDAQ ETF QQQ Here the bearish headwind appeared in the daily chart almost at the very top and from there price fell sharply on Friday price stopped at the wide direction line and in fact it closed the day positive you can see that from the activity color being in green the weekly recovered from the yellow direction line Again, you may see if price is able to go up from here. If that happens, you will have a lot of lucrative buying opportunities. Russell 2000 ETF IWM. This was less bullish than the other ones and that is continuing to be the case. Relative performance is tilting downward showing it is underperforming the market. On Friday, price recovered a bit but the candle ended with a mixed shape candle. Unlike the bullish shape candles that you saw in the other market ETFs. And price could not close above this daily memory support line. In the weekly, price touched the watermark pivot support and closed above that. Next week price may go up, however, if the market goes up, the best buying opportunities based on the current data may come in SPY, DIA and QQQ, not in IWM. Time to make a call on my market outlook. The market dropped heavily all across the board. However, now it has found support. SPY, QQQ, DIA all bounced up from support levels. Either watermark support level or memory support level. IWM didn't recover that much, however, it also bounced a bit on Friday. And Friday had extreme high activity that could point to an exertion of bears. Based on what I see, not based on subjective bias, based on what I see, this week I am changing my outlook to bullish. That means I am more inclined to buy stocks than to short stocks. However, I will buy the stocks only if there is a proper trade setup using unambiguous queue checklists and also 
I will prefer to buy the stocks that are fundamentally strong and in industries that are relatively strong at this time. One month sector performance, the red bars represent this week's performance. All the sectors went down and they went down by very high percentages. Starting with consumer staples that went down by more than 10% and then ending in energy that closed down by almost 17%. This is extreme bearishness. The extreme bearishness may point to an exertion of bears and the market may reverse next week. I showed that several ETFs bounced from support. You may watch out for a possible reversal next week. Let me demonstrate how I apply the Q360 degrees technique using live examples. This is my traders forum www.sagandandi.com and it is open to the public. There are multiple categories. Some of the categories are not visible unless you sign up and then log in. All you need to sign up is a valid email ID. You will receive a validation email once you sign up and once you validate, you are able to log in. Let me log in. Once I log in, I am able to see the additional category Q360 degree stock analysis where I regularly share live market and stock analysis and I share all of this before knowing the result of a particular trade. I share this as a demonstration of the systems and techniques I use. Let me revisit some of the recent trade ideas that I shared. One was on square. I titled it square is inside a sort of a square. I shared that post on 21st February nine days ago. When I share a post I always share the 360 degrees analysis snapshots as of that time and this is what I shared about square. In the weekly chart it was inside a box. Price had gone up and hit the memory resistance trend line and it had a bearish shape candle. While that happened in the daily chart the bearish headwind possible reversal signal appeared. The signal itself is important and when the signal comes with a few other conditions. The conditions are mentioned in the unambiguous checklists for the headwind trade setup. When all the conditions are met then you not only have a headwind signal but also a possible headwind short trade setup. On this particular day all the checklist conditions were met where can you find the checklist conditions? You can find it out from the books that I have put together in the learning session on my traders forum. The books are freely downloadable. If you took a short trade when I shared the post, your entry price would be at this level and stop would be just above recent high. Where would be your profit target? The logical profit target would be at this memory support level giving you a reward that was higher than the risk. That is a requirement for all the trades that I take. This was the technical analysis that I shared. 
what about fundamentals in terms of fundamentals I saw that square was overvalued earnings was nearby I was aware of that therefore if I took a short trade I was going to close the trade just before earnings what about the industry the industry was stronger earlier as you can see from the industry scorecard and heat map this updates in real time the industry was weakening and it was decelerating at the same time I saw weakness at the technical level fundamental level and also industry level this is what I mean by 360 degrees analysis aligning forces from all the levels to my trades this gave me a 360 degrees shorting opportunity in SQ how did it work out I followed up with a post I shared the short idea on this day that was a headwind extreme reversal trade setup the very next day price hit the memory support line that was my profit target and I booked profit remember the earnings was nearby therefore I was not going to hold on to the trade longer as it hit the profit target I closed my entire position with a profit let me review another example from the forum in Q systems there are multiple scans and the scans sometimes reveal an apparent anomaly and when you drill down to investigate the anomaly you may find some lucrative sometimes contrarian and often highly profitable trading opportunities that is exactly what happened in this case I shared this topic using Q scans to find shorting candidates in a strong market I shared it 11 days ago on February 19 if you check February 19 was the day when S&P 500 made the very all-time high and when the market made the very all-time high I could suggest shorting some of the stocks that was very contrarian and people might be surprised however I have very clearly defined trade setups when the trade setups are made I am comfortable taking the trades I could short these stocks at the very top let me review the post in detail on that day I shared the summary of the scans that I ran the long scans here and the short scans total number of symbols on the long side were 420 on the short side 228 therefore it was more bullish total number of signals again 633 on the long side 328 on the short side it was clearly bullish and then there were the different categories for pressure more bullish symbols than bearish gaps more bullish than bearish breakout more bullish than bearish so on and so forth however I noticed under reversal category number of bearish signals were much more than the number of bullish signals that was on the day when the market made the very all-time high that led me to investigate what was going on I wanted to check the stocks that were creating this bearish reversal signal on that day 
or did I find? I found stocks in three industries. One in office rates, one in retail rates and one in thrift and mortgage finance. And noticed all these industries weakened on that day. Using this real time industry scorecard and heat map, I could see that during market hours that all these industries weaken. The industry level allowed me to take a short trade in the stocks. And how were the stock charts? One was BDN. The weekly backdrop candle color turned bearish and in the daily it refers from the watermark resistance displayed a bear release signal and it also broke below the memory support. That gave a valid box or sideways market short trade setup. Where would be the entry stop and target levels? Entry would be at the close of that day stop would be just above recent high just above the watermark resistance and initial profit target would be this memory support that was one stock btn what was the next stock that was rdn here the weekly was bearish for several weeks in the daily the Optimal shorting point was here probably. By the time I shared it, it was already falling. The recent high was quite a distance away from the close of that day. It didn't follow any Q trade setup because the stop would be far away. However, it was a bearish day. It had a reversal candle and the reversal signal showed up in the band indicator. I shared this stock also. It didn't have any Q trade setup but it was bearish. What was the third stock? That was KRG. Here the weekly backdrop candle color was bearish and daily broke below memory support. In fact it broke out of the triangle pattern. The daily flow candle color was bearish, the candle shape was very bearish. It fell down with heavy bearish pressure and it had a reversal candle shown by the reversal band indicator. This gave a Q breakout short rate setup. These were the three stocks that I shared, possible shorting candidates. On the day, the market made the all-time high. How did they work out? I followed up later. I had shared the shorting idea on BDN on this day. Later on, price fell heavily. It covered much more than the risk distance and it turned out to be a very profitable trade. The next one, KRG. Here I shared the short idea on this day that was a breakout short entry. Later on price fell to this level. More than risk distance was covered and you could again close this trade for a very good profit. The last one was RDN. I mentioned it didn't have any Q trade setup however it was looking bearish. I shared the shorting idea on this day. Later on, price fell to this level, covered much more than the risk distance and again you ended up with a very profitable trend. Notice that now market has dropped heavily and everybody knows market is bearish. 
but I could identify these three shorting opportunities on the day the market made the very all-time high. That is the power of the systems and techniques that I use. And I always say you need to have confidence on the systems and techniques you use, not follow news, not follow what other traders are doing. They may be having systems on which they have confidence, but you have to find out what works for you. And once you have a system that works for you on which you have confidence, you don't really have to look for another system. You just need to keep on trading the system that you have. Because of the same confidence, I could also buy a stock while the market was falling. That was on Jailid. I titled the topic, May Jailid have some medicine for the coronavirus? It may be working on some medicine for the virus, the COVID-19 virus. And I mentioned that, however, that was not part of my unambiguous checklist. That is secondary information. My primary information comes from sector industry, fundamental and technical analysis. This is what I shared nine days ago on 21st February when the market was already falling. This chart is from Trade Station Q Elite. I saw the weekly backdrop candle color was bullish and shape was also bullish. Earlier, this was the earnings week, it had a gap up move and it was able to hold on to the gap. In the daily, after earnings, price went up, pulled back little bit and just on the day when I shared the post, it went up again. The daily flow candle color turned bullish and it also broke out of the memory resistance. Activity was high. That gave a trend following go with flow long trade setup as well as a possible breakout long trade setup. I had attached the fundamental snapshot also using cube vital and I saw that it was undervalued earnings quality was high so fundamentally there was a reason to buy the stock technically also there was a reason to buy the stock I took a long position how did it work out I followed up the entry point was here that was the day when I shared the long idea and stop would be just below recent low the very next day it gapped up at the high of that candle more than risk distance was covered by the reward I tend to place a GTC order with my profit target and that was filled and I exited the trade this is also important. Once you plan your trade for short term trading, swing trading, it is a good idea to place the profit booking order. Sometimes price may hit your profit target and then pull back. Doesn't make sense for me to let the profit erode. If I planned the trade and I had a profit target in mind, I should book profit when price hit that level without being greedy and expecting price to continue to go up. That is what I do usually and that is what I did for GILD. My profit was booked using the GTC order that I already placed. This was an example of a trade, long trade that I took while the market was falling. Again, because I had confidence on the signals from my system. The same confidence also allowed me to share a long idea on Friday, this Friday. 
some people are saying that they may wait for a follow through day however that is not required for q traders not for me i shared this buy idea on friday i titled it i found this stock from one of my favorite hunting grounds today's best performing undervalued stocks that is one of the insights that come from QH. Let me go to QH using the live system. In the inside tab, there are a list of stocks under various categories. The best performing stocks and then worst performing stocks under various categories. One of the categories is best performing undervalued stocks. Using this category, you are sometimes able to find stocks that are starting to turn around, undervalued stocks and starting to turn around. And you can see Foot Locker came in that list on Friday and it started coming during market hours itself. You didn't have to wait for the market close or near 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could see the stock coming in the list from probably midday itself or maybe even before that when I saw this I shared it in the forum let me go back to the forum again these were the snapshots that I shared as of 11.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Foot Locker came in the list of the best performing undervalued stock as of midday on Friday. How was the chart? On the chart I saw that the weekly created a false downside breakout price reversed at these two memory support trend lines. Weekly activity was very high and I noticed there was a bullish headwind reversal signal earlier from where price could go up significantly. This is the weekly chart. Therefore, this was a significant up move after the bullish headwind came. Again, the headwind signal could catch the very bottom. And now price came back to that same level. As I tend to say, if headwind signal can lead to a price move when price comes back to the level it is very likely some buying was left and price would go up again as of friday that seemed to happen price bounced up in the weekly chart from the memory support trend line in the daily chart price came to this watermark support level pivot level and again created a false downside breakout the bull release signal came with extreme bullish pressure it created a reversal candle at pendulum or price extreme low this gave a box long trade setup on friday it also gave a bounce long setup considering the fact that this drop to the watermark support was sudden and sharp and then price bounced up from the watermark support therefore you had a box plus bounce long trade setup on Friday also on Friday it tried to go down first after earnings result was announced and then reversed that also is a bullish indication how was the fundamental you already know from the inside category that it was undervalued from the vital statistics you can see clearly it was undervalued undervalued stock scores have cyan color under valuation and valuation secondary categories robust earnings quality short squeeze potential when I shared it it was up by 7.2 percentage how was the earnings seem to be good earnings growth turned positive from negative one quarter ago revenue growth 
turn positive from negative one quarter ago. Fundamentally, it was looking good. And from the real time industry scorecard and heat map, I could see that the industry also strengthened heavily. As of that time, only 17 industries were up, 131 were down as of midday on Friday, and apparel retail was one of them. The industry was accelerating as well. Again, I found a 360 degree straight. The technicals were bullish. It gave a valid Q trade setup in the long direction. Fundamentally, the stock was undervalued. Plus, it started to display earnings and revenue growth and the industry was accelerating. I had no reason to wait for a follow through day at the market level. The market bounced from support that I saw already. At the stock and industry level, there were enough signals to give me a 360 degrees long trade and I could confidently buy the stock on Friday itself. One important thing is to notice that the stop loss is narrow. That is a constant in all the trades that I take. The other constant is I tend to take only trades where the reward is at least as much as the risk. Those are the two constants. Everything else I am flexible with. I am comfortable taking go with flow trend following trades, box trades for sideways market or at double tops or double bottoms, headwind reversal trades at the top or bottom of a move and also extreme reversal bounce trades. And I am comfortable taking breakout trades also provided they give me narrow stop trades. This was a long setup that I shared on Friday and if you ran the Q scans you could find again some anomaly and that could lead to a large number of possible long trades. Let me explain how. This is my Twitter page twitter.com sakanandi and I shared this tweet on Friday attaching the summary of the Q scans. Let's look at the summary. As of that time, on the long side, the number of symbols were 382, on the short side, 744. Therefore, it was more bearish. That was with respect to the number of symbols, stock symbols. I ran it on a list of stocks, liquid stocks that I have. More than 2,000 symbols are there in that list. Out of that, 744 stocks were bearish, 382 bullish. Therefore, overall it was bearish. In terms of number of Q signals, 1,314 signals were bearish, 551 were bullish. So again, it was more bearish than bullish. However, at the individual signal level, I saw that as far as touch, touching the memory support is concerned or memory resistance, 210 had bullish signal, only 9 bearish. That means I could look for a bounce from memory support. And the bounce category has more stringent condition than the touch category. There also 50 stocks were bullish, only four were bearish again showing that i could look for long bounce setups the same was true for the box category 41 were bullish four were bearish showing that many stocks were hitting watermark pivot support and were starting to go up same was true for reversal category meaning more stocks were creating bullish reversals than bearish reversal. Based on that, I was going to look for either bounce 
or box this tend to give buying opportunities at the very bottom these two long trade setups why i wanted to focus on bounce and box was because the market dropped heavily instead of looking for trend following go with flow or even pull back trade setups i wanted to focus on bounce or box trade setups you could probably find some trades in trend following category and pullback category also but i was expecting more trades more lucrative trades also to come from the bounce and box categories and as i will show now there were several candidates displaying probably both the bounce characteristics as well as the box characteristics this is the summary of the q signals as of Friday's market close. You can see reversals ended up being more bullish than bearish. Bounce also had more bullish stocks than bearish. Same was true for box, more bullish than bearish. Let's look at the stocks that gave the bullish signals. Total 555 signals across 382 stocks. Foot Locker was one of them. You saw I identified Foot Locker from inside category and I shared it in the forum. You could also identify Foot Locker from the Q scans from the bottom up approach. What were the bullish signals in Foot Locker? It had a bullish pressure, it had a box, long trade setup, and also a reversal signal. And if you look at Foot Locker technical charts, you can see in the weekly chart it bounced from this memory support line. Therefore, there was an element of bounce also in Foot Locker as well as the box based on the daily chart. Let's have a look at the stocks that gave bullish signals on Friday. This is the data in the long tab in the trade finder in total i had 555 bullish signals and they were in 382 stocks on friday the result here is sorted by percentage change the highest percentage change stocks are coming at the top the highest percentage change stocks may tend to be the lower price stocks. Instead of looking at those stocks first, you could double click on this number of signals on that day column and start looking at the stocks giving maximum number of signals. They are likely to give the best trades, most probability of success because they have the maximum number of bullish signals on Friday. Another way is you have something in mind like I had in mind the idea of looking for stocks that had an element of bounce as well as an element of box. I can easily filter for those stocks these are the stocks showing bounce on Friday and let me add the filter for box. These are the stocks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 showing both a possible box trade setup as well as a possible bounce trade setup. Let me open these charts one by one. The Q trade finder is integrated with Q global technical trading system. I can put my cursor on any cell of a particular row, let's say on Integris Inc, the symbol ENTG and click on the chart icon that will open the stock with my default charting template. In this case, I am using the Ateclance weekly daily template. What do we see? In the weekly, it is bouncing up from the memory support line, in fact two of them, 
in the daily also it is bouncing up from this memory support line and also crossing the watermark pivot support with a bull release signal heavy bullish pressure very high activity that is giving both a possible bounce as well as a possible box long trade setup ENTG could be a buy candidate next stock neuro crime the symbol is easier to read NBIX let's have a look at NBIX here also the weekly is bouncing from memory support daily is also bouncing from memory support displayed a bull release signal closed above this watermark pivot level and also above this watermark pivot level again showing extreme bullish pressure high activity this stock is also giving a possible bounce as well as a possible box long trade setup next inside enter NSIT maybe inside entertainment again it is bouncing up from weekly memory support daily memory support displayed the bull release signal has extreme bullish pressure high activity and on top of that it also has the bullish headwind possible reversal signal this signal tends to come at the very bottom or top in this case at the very bottom of the move so here you have a stock giving possible bounce long setup box long setup as well as a headwind long setup next one rwt weekly is bouncing up from memory support daily is also bouncing up from memory support has the bull release signal extreme bullish pressure in addition pressure u-turn however in this case the daily candle shape is indecisive so I will not consider taking a long trade in this stock the last one EWH and ETF in the weekly bounce from the weekly memory support in the daily bounce from the daily memory support we have a bull release signal also went above the watermark pivot support with very high activity giving a possible box and bounce setup both however in this case there is a memory resistance nearby therefore I will not consider taking a long trade here we therefore ended with three possible buying candidates ENTG, NBIX and NSIT all of them are giving possible bounce long trade setup possible box long trade setup all of them are displaying extreme high bullish pressure and two of them are also displaying reversal candles that is how you can use the trade finder and the Q global technical analysis system to quickly find technical trade setups not only showing one trade setup but possibly a combination of trade setups together giving you the highest probability trades the next step will be to check their fundamentals you could check their fundamentals by clicking this peer analysis icon and you could also check their industry strength from QH once you identify a trade where the technicals are bullish fundamentals are bullish and industry strength is also bullish you are able to confidently take the trade as a Q360 degrees trade let me summarize the market dropped sharply and I could to some extent anticipate the 
drop and if you tweeted about it based on the very scheduling signals that came both in SPY and DIA in weekly charts and soon after the very scheduling had come in QQQ daily chart. Based on those signals I could protect my long positions and I could make a profit taking a number of short trades. I shared a number of short trades on my traders forum when the market was at or near the all-time high. All of those shots gave large profit. And now the market has dropped heavily. Now people are trying to say it is bearish, it is bearish. However, I see based on objective analysis using the Q systems that all the four market ETFs are near support and three of them, SPY, QQQ, DIA, bounced a little bit from those levels. Therefore, I am not bearish anymore for short-term trading purpose. I closed all my short positions and I in fact started buying some stocks. Some people are waiting for a follow-through day. However, in Q technique, I don't need that. I have very unambiguous trade setups. Once those setups come and I can identify a 360 degree trade, I am able to take it. All those trades are also low risk trades, so I have no worry about taking them. I bought a few stocks near the end of the last week and as I demonstrated using Q Finder in conjunction with Q Global Q H Q Vital, you can identify several long trades now that have high probability of success. Not guaranteed success, but in my view, high probability of success. You may keep an eye on my traders forum and Twitter page. I will keep sharing live ideas whenever I have some time. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably. As I say, no reason not to do so.